Looks like a natural nail, but it's not. In this video, I will show you how to achieve this look. Hello, I'm Anastasia and this is the client's nails. They are a bit damaged, so I will be using Biosculpture Vitamin Dose, Base Coat, Extend Gel for the free edge, Base Gel and Medium Gel and we will cover it with the red color. Let's get started. Her nails are a bit damaged after removing gel polish and also they are a bit over filed and some of the nails are broken. So she wants to have short nails but to have the same shape and length on all nails. First I will file the free edge and you do not need to file them all short as some of the nails are broken some of them might have some sharp edges we need to file them to make them smooth and also as you can see some of the corners are missing so we are going to fix all that after that i am going to push back the cuticles you can do it with a pusher or with the orange wood stick as i do because this is the single use tool you just throw it away or just give it to your client when you're done after that, you can do the cuticle care procedure. You can do it with cuticle remover or you can do electric file manicure. This is up to you. And after that, we need to remove the surface shine. But since the nails are already damaged, we need to be super gentle and careful. I will use buffer, which is 220 grit and file only in the direction of the free edge. Also try not to file a lot on the same spot. After filing off the surface shine, do not forget to carefully clean the dust. You can use cleanse with a lint-free napkin to make sure it is all clean. Then we apply vitamin dose and the base coat. Apply it only on the center of the nail liver margin near the cuticle and the free edge. Then we will set the form, which is like we usually set it up. But since we are going to do a very short nails, I will taper the form near the free edge. Now we need to do the free edge with the sculpting gel. And honestly, when I first opened the jar, I was like, something is wrong with this gel. I mean, take a look at its color. Maybe it's expired or something. But then I figure out that no, actually this is how it should be. And if you will stay with me, you will find out why it actually is supposed to be this color. As you can see, the consistency is pretty thin, so do not apply too much and try to make uh, the surface as even as possible. Our goal here is to do a natural looking nail, so we are not going to make them long. Clean the lines and then cure it in UV or hybrid lamp for 2 minutes. Next step is base gel. First, I apply a thin layer all over the nail and honestly, this is how I usually do my gel application because first, if you will make the surface of the nail, including the free edge slippery, it will be so much easier to apply the gel. Base gel is creating adhesion between the product and the natural nail and with Biosculpture gel, it also creates uh, the look of the natural nail. So we just added the free edge and now we need to build uh, the rest of the structure of the nail. But do not apply it too much at this time. We are not creating the whole structure of the extensions yet. We are simply imitating the natural looking nail. So the layer should be pretty thin and as even as possible. If there are some imperfection on the nail plate, we can even them out at this moment. After curing for 30 seconds in LED lamp, it is time to take off the form. Be careful, as you can see the nail is super thin at the moment, so try not to break it yet. Now you can probably see it. this is how it looks like and this is why this gel is of this color. It makes all nails have this natural look. So then we continue and repeat the same process on other nails. When working with soft or hard gels, I recommend you to always work like that. When you work on one nail, make the nail on the opposite hand cure at this time, so you will not need to waste time when waiting for gel to cure in the lamp. 
So when you're done with all 10 nails, remove the sticky residue and now we will file the shape and the length of the nails. We decided to do short square nails. As you've seen from the beginning of this video, some of her nails are broken and she wanted this sharp square short nails look. So this is how we will achieve it. Do not forget to check if you have the same length on all nails uh, on one hand as well as on the other and make sure that the side walls are parallel. So I'm using a 200 grit and if you have some imperfection on the surface you can buff them with a light buffer as well. So when we are done with this step this is the look we are aiming for. Natural nails, I mean who can tell that they are extensions, right? So now next step and this is when we actually do the extensions and build the structure. This gel is called medium gel. First we apply a thin layer all over and then we are going to build the actual structure, mostly the apex. We already applied another layer of the base coat previously, so this layer should not be too thick as well. But this gel is stronger and actually designed to do the structure, so it is better to make um, the apex and all the thick parts that we need of the nail using this gel. So now I'm building the structure, I'm adding just a little bit near the cuticle and more in the center and then I'm applying less on the free edge again. Since our goal is to imitate the natural nails, they should look thin on the free edge. Try to do this application as perfect as smooth as possible because we are not going to file anymore. We already did all the filing. So after curing medium gel for 30 seconds as well, we will need to apply the color and you can use any sock of gel or gel polish at the moment. I'm using red one with sparkles by Biosculpture Gel. First I apply one layer and then apply second. After that we need to seal it with a top coat, but since Biosculpture is the soft gel, make sure you use the color as well as the top coat of the sock of gel systems as well. Cure for 30 seconds in LED, remove the sticky layer. So this is what we had before, the damaged nails, and this is what we get after. And when we apply the color, this is the final look. Now, let me know what do you think, have you ever tried Biosculpture Gel and do you like it? I tried it for the very first time, so I do not have any certain opinion yet, as I really want to see on how it will look after 3 to 4 weeks. So do not forget to subscribe if you want to see the follow-up as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!